Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of AD's Corner. Uh, with us today we have Coach Ty, our head men's basketball coach. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time and uh, didn't do this too long ago, but a lot has happened and now it's favorite time of year, right? Go time, playoff time, conference time. So uh, thanks for taking the time today. Yep, you bet. Um, coach, I want to want to jump right in it. Um, I know we've beat a dead horse talking COVID and things like that, so I, I don't want this discussion to focus on that as much. But um, you know, first of all, congratulations, obviously, on on regular season conference championship. Your first here at Mayville State. I don't know how many how many people have realized that with with your tournament success that uh, that that's happened under your tutelage here at Mayville State, but. Um, how special has this year been, obviously, to, to win a regular season, um, but to just be able to get most of the season in? You know, what, how's that, you know, how's that worked, and, and, and how important has that been? Yeah, it's uh, to, to win a regular season championship, basically, it doesn't mean that you've been the best team. It just means you've been the most consistent, and to be – considered the most consistent team during a pandemic where anything or everything, nothing is consistent at that point in time uh, is pretty special. And I think that speaks a lot to our players and, uh, and just what they wanted to accomplish and what they were willing to sacrifice to do that. Again, we're talking about guys that have been in quarantine over 60 days, you know, multiple guys, and a lot of them at 30 to 40 at this point in time. Right. So uh, just so happy for, for them. And uh, not that this is, the, the end by any means we have a lot bigger plans we hope uh, moving forward here in the next couple of weeks but um, a very nice honor for them uh, so far absolutely and, and coach you, you you hit the hammer on the head i mean you had so many kids that you know at, at any given point in time you know covid took its toll right and, and you know whether they're in quarantine or, or you know close contact whatever it may be right it was kind of crazy and and to finish where you guys did right 10 and 3 in the conference regular season champs um, and 13 and four overall. Uh, what's that a testament to? Uh, obviously, your work ethic and 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 your plans and and guys buying in. But um, you know, as far as the team to be able to stick together through that type thing, what's that say about you know your your guys being able to overcome some adversity? Well, I think it's the the leadership of our of our group of seniors, and I say seniors kind of loosely because we have our seniors that are moving on and our right. seniors that are seniors that are coming back. Right. But, um, them as a whole, just uh, understanding uh, to to try and in less practice time and less reps, still be able to teach our new guys and to get our group kind of molded in the way that we have tried to build in these four years. And again, I just think that speaks volumes to their leadership because there was probably just as much time where they were having their discussions and meetings uh, stuck in the dorms in quarantine than there was in practice time. Right, <laughs> so, right, right. Like we're talking about, you know, missing 30 plus days of practice and um, obviously 15 or 16 less games in a normal year. So again, that speaks to, um, I think, the family type thing that we try and build, but also all of those um, those player to player meetings and just discussions they had while hanging out. and. Uh, again, if you're if you're not a family, you're not hanging out a ton outside of the gym. And again, with less time in the gym, I think that speaks to how tight our guys have become this year. Absolutely, so remarkable to see. I mean, coach, you to see those guys. I mean, obviously they're talented, right? But to see how far those guys have come from the first time we saw them in the Louis Lee till now, um, it's just unbelievable, remarkable. They're so fun to watch and. They play such great team ball, and that's that's a testament to you and your staff as well. Um, Coach Todd, I know you're a humble guy, but I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. You have won three straight conference tournament championships, your programs, um, and like I said, for the first time, uh, won the regular season. Um, you know, what what do you what do you test that to, right, to, to be able to – and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, because I wasn't here uh, year one, uh, but you were, I believe, five seed, three seed, two seed, and you won the tournament all three years. You're looking, you're not just you, you, your staff, programs, looking for a fourth consecutive uh, tournament championship, which, um, you know, got a, got a great shot. Well, what would you contribute that success to um, of really coming together when it matters most? I think it's just great players and players that are willing to be coached and that are willing to buy into something that's bigger than themselves. And 
th there's a specific characteristics that we look for in players that we bring here, and and that is a that is a huge part of that. And uh, we're not looking for guys with a bunch of ego. We're not looking for guys that think they have all the an right answers. We're just looking for guys that are willing to do anything that it takes to win. Right. And, and that's really what it comes down to. And if you're going to be here, you're going to be enthusiastic. You're going to be positive. You're going to be a great teammate. You're going to work really hard. And those are the things that I think help us kind of come together throughout the season and specifically at the end of the year. And hopefully that will continue this year. Well, Coach, hats off to you. I mean, you know, whatever happens this week, which, but, you know, I kind of joke around with you. I hope to be driving out my car, riding off to the sunset when you win another. You and Dennis both hopefully win some conference championships. But, um, you know, it, 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 it'd be remiss to, to not mention the, the amount of success you've had since since you dug your heels in and, and got going here so um hats off to you and uh you know obviously this week is is so exciting so um with that said i want to transition a bit to tomorrow night right you guys are the one seed a bit different this year no you know previous years first round higher seed hosted and then we headed to watertown for a neutral site semifinals finals covid this year going back to the uh, system that they did, I guess, before Watertown and home uh, higher seed hosts. Mm -hmm. With you guys being the one seed, not looking ahead, but you know you have a chance to host Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday throughout. How important is that in a COVID year? And, and dare I say, have some potential home home court advantage here in the Louis Lee. Yeah, I'll just start by saying like we are not thinking any further than Tuesday. Right, uh, right. And um, I, again, what I think is great about our players is. Um, I don't think they've ever thought of themselves as a one seed. Um, we all have chips on our shoulders. Um, there, there's a reason the guys have come here and, and all that stuff. We have, we have a lot to prove with yeah. that. And uh, I think we have been maybe a little bit of the standard in a way that the one seed is not guaranteed to win a conference cha or a, a tournament championship with this. So, uh, uh, like again, I, the, we are not looking any further than Tuesday. Presentation is athletic. They've got some great players. Um, they can do a lot of really, really good things, and from the time we played them in December, which seems like forever ago at this point in time, to now they are a completely different basketball team and, and playing pretty well right now. So uh, you throw the numbers out of the gate, and it yeah. means nothing at this yep. point in time, especially in a pandemic year, and especially in this year, numbers even mean less. So we have to put all of our focus into what happens uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow. Now. If we were lucky enough to move forward, absolutely, to not not to travel and to, to be at home and uh, sleep in your own beds would be a would be a great thing. But in order to do that, we've got to take care of what we're supposed to do tomorrow. And coach, you you focus on tomorrow. Um, we've talked about how competitive the North Star has been in previous shows throughout throughout this year, um, being such an odd year and, and teams just competing hard. You haven't seen presentation since December. You touched on it a little bit. What what are going to be the keys to have some success Tuesday and hopefully you know move on to advance? Yeah, they they are very big, athletic, strong. Um, they've got some guards that can really do some nice things. So um, I think the rebounding battle is going to be something that's going to be really important and um, just making over, over the course of forty minutes making the more correct decisions than they do on the offense and defensive end. Um, we talk about being high IQ decision makers all the time, and that's really what we need to do is make make more right decisions and wrong decisions, and that would um, give us a good chance to be successful. And Coach, one, one more question. You know, you talk about your senior leadership, that, you know, you've got some seniors that have already come into their own, and I, I think, you you know, great, great young men, but but leaders across the board. Um, but, uh, you know, a, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of new faces from last year's team or previous teams and things like that. Um, who, who are you looking at? Obviously, I, I know, like I said, you're very talented, so, so a lot of guys can, whether it's rebounding or scoring or, or the defensive side of the ball and things like that, but who are you looking to to really be that leadership role and, and dig the heels in the sand and, and lead by example? Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but, I, but I'm going to be. Um, it's our entire team. Yeah. We dress 11 guys. Yep. Um, we play 11 players. Yep. We just had our all-conference meeting with all the other coaches, and everybody's talking about their – their third, their fourth, their fifth double-digit score. It's like we have two. We only have two guys that average double-digit points, and we got a lot of guys that are in the nine, eight, seven, six. Like, I think we are the epitome of a team. Oh, um, yeah. We, whatever we, whatever we need, somebody has that uh, ability or that niche to step up, and then they just do it. And um, we, we've had a lot of different leading scores, and we've had a lot of different things in there, but. 
um, we aren't going to just really look for one or two guys. We need everybody. Right. Um, and that's kind of how we've been yeah. over these last four years. Um, I had a chance to visit the over alumni weekend with Kobe Critchley and DeMarco Green, mm -hmm. and they were talking about you know, their seasons with having two really good players with George Allhag and Dan Lingren on the team. But the, what they always said was, like, it was never about George. It right. was never about Dan. And that's what they really loved about this team. It's different players, kind of the same systems, little different things, but the same thing. Like, it's not about one guy with us. It's about the group. And so, you know, an injury or a COVID thing, even if it was just one for us, would really be a big deal because we really rely on all 11 of us to to put their best foot forward. So, and coach, I couldn't I couldn't agree more from a from a fan's perspective, you know, watching you guys play, um, how they share the ball and 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 play together in unison is so fun to watch and why you're in the position you are now. So, again, congratulations on a heck of a season, uh, another or excuse me, uh, your first regular season championship and hopefully, knock on wood, we'll see what happens. I know you're not looking ahead, but uh, hopefully we continue to play this week and do well. So, um, with that said, uh, tomorrow night, uh, again, doubleheader, women at 5.30, men at 7.30. Uh, women are the four seed, the men are the one seed. Um, but we want to we wanna bring, bring the fans to the Louis Lee to support Coach Todd, Coach Hutter, and, and both programs um, as we kick off quarterfinal uh, conference playoff action. Coach, it's an exciting time of year. Uh, I want to thank you. I know you're busy. Is there anything you want to say to Comet Nation before we wrap up and Hopefully you guys are playing for a few more weeks. Hopefully everybody will just come out and support and be as loud as you can, and let's, let's make this home court advantage an actual advantage. That would be great. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach, again, and uh, go Comets.